Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be making a custom Minecraft Bedrock 118 texture pack and give these bricks a much nicer look. Now, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos in the future. And let's switch over to the desktop and begin working on this custom texture pack. Here we are on my desktop, and I made a folder here on my C drive. I just called it Packs. Call it anything that you want, just some place to build your resource pack in. And I have two files in here. One is my custom pack icon PNG file. It's just a square image at 256 by 256 pixels. Nothing special about that. And the second one is this photograph right here of a brick wall. We'll be using this for a realistic looking brick wall in the game. We also need to get a new vanilla resource pack. Let me show you where you can get that or bring up a browser. Here we go. Now Microsoft just recently rebuilt this whole site, so it's kind of hard to find things now. So I'll put this big long link up here in the description so you can get right to this page. Okay, scroll down in here. And right here it says, how do I use add-ons? Right there it says resource packs. Click on that and download the file. I'm putting it in my same folder right here, packs folder. Choose save and let that download. Okay, that's taken care of. Let's go back to our folder. Here we are. Now I need to get just a couple of things out of here. So right click on this and open in new window. There it is. Now down here, you need this file here, the manifest JSON. I'm going to right drag it over here and copy it. Just copies it in there. And we also need to find the original for the brick wall. And that's inside of textures and inside of blocks right here. And if we scroll down, we'll find that brick right there, brick PNG. Now before we copy this over, we need to make these folders over here in our working file. So new folder, and this one is textures. And then inside of here, new folder, and this one is blocks. Inside of that, right here is where you want to copy this file, brick PNG, right drag it over here and copy. There we go. That's all taken care of. We can now close out that. We're done with that resource pack. Okay, we're all set to go now. We can go ahead, open this up, and resize this to use in the game. Now I'll be using a program called Paint.net. It's a great program for doing this kind of simple texture editing, and it's also free. I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, we bring up Paint.net. Okay, there's Paint.net in the background, and I'm just going to take the brick wall picture and drag it over here, open it that way. There we go. Let's bring that folder back up again. And we'll grab the actual texture right here. Let's bring this in. And we'll open that up. There we go. Now it's a real small image as you can see. So let's just zoom in on this and see what we've got to work with. And we have four rows of bricks. One, two, three, four rows of bricks like that. Let's check our size, image, and resize. It's a 16 by 16 and that's a resolution of 96. So we want to keep that resolution. We'll be going for a lot larger width and height on this. Okay, let's go back here to the new file. That's this one. Now I want to first grab a section here that's square and that's four rows. So we're here to the rectangle select tool and then I'll come in and I'll grab something right here, right at the top of that brick and I'll pull down. Now notice that this can come in any shape like that. Let's set this so that it's gonna be a square shape. So up here it says normal, change that to fixed ratio and I'll set this to 300 by 300, it's now square. I'll come in right here at the top corner of this one brick right there and it'll pull down from that there it is nice square it'll come down for four bricks and a little bit of that grout at the bottom there we go so that section right here is a basic square brick four by four row section so edit and let's copy go up to file come down to new and this is going to be the exact size of that selected area 96 resolution that's good choose ok and then edit paste. There we go. There's our image. Now I need to do a few things on this one. Let's first deselect that. Just go back to the select tool and click inside that deselects it. And let's check our image size up here. Resize. I don't want it at 281. That's really too big. 128 is big enough for our use. So I'll just make this 128. And I'll set the resampling here at super sampling. Choose OK. There we go. And let's zoom in a little bit on that one. And we're going to make it just a bit more contrasty. Let's go up here to adjustments, come down to levels right here. And on the left hand side, just pull this line up. And that makes it more contrasty. So something about in here looks pretty good, I think. Choose OK. And there we go. That's our new brick file. Let's go up to file and save and choose save. I'm just going to save it right in this one location here. This is just my file in case I want to go back and work with this again in the future. I'll cut new brick, choose save. There it is. Let's now save this on top of the existing file. 
So file, come down to save as. Let's go inside of textures, inside of blocks, and right there, put it on top of that one. You want it to be a PNG file. Choose save and yes, and okay. And that's now saved on top of the existing file. Okay, we're now done with paint.net. We can close this down. And there we go, there's our new file. Let's go back here to our packs folder. Okay, now we need to edit this manifest.json. I'll be using Notepad++, which is a free code editor. I highly recommend using that for this kind of editing. Open this up. There we are. Just a couple of things to change in here. First off, we have these UUID codes right here. Now, these are just like license plates. There are two of these in here. They're different from each other, and they need to be different than this. We need to just change these. Each one of your packs in your copy of Minecraft has to have different codes. So all we really need to do is just to change the number back here. I'm just going to change this number to 16 in both cases, like that. And I'll change this one to 16 as well. The rest is different, so that works out fine. And then we need to change the description right up here. Let's just call this one New Bricks. We can then copy that like this. Right click, copy, and let's paste it over this line right here. Right click, paste, and then right down here, let's paste it over this line. Right click and paste. That's now done. Let's save that and close that out. Okay, we're now actually ready to go. All I need is the textures folder. Hold the control key down, get that manifest JSON, and you need a pack icon PNG, which we already talked about right here. Then go up to the share menu, come down to zip, give it a name. I'll call it new bricks right there, and then click into the name. And if you don't see the dot zip at the end right here, go up to view, and right there it says file name extensions. Check that, you'll then see that dot zip. Now click into there and change that to say MC pack and click outside and choose yes and that should change over to this icon if that icon doesn't change then it's going to a different folder and then back out to there and that should change that icon for you now make sure that you do not have minecraft running and then double click on this to load this into the game there we go it's going to open up minecraft and it will then import that resource pack as soon as it gets to the main title screen there we go import started and there's successfully imported new bricks that's all good. Let's now load that in, come down here to settings, and then scroll down to global resources. And where it says my packs down here, there's our new bricks pack. Click on that, activate, and then check it. It should be up here in active. There it is. That's all set to go. And we'll back out of here. And now we're ready to go ahead and play this and check this. And it's going to main world. And there we go. There's our custom realistic looking bricks right there. Notice how it does the wall, it does the steps, all those things that use that brick texture, and it's that easy to do. Okay, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.